Hello Trophy Hunters to another weekly video and what week is in front of us, it is just incredible. Let's immediately start with a bunch of new games are arriving. Now as a nice surprise to the start of the week, Trifold Studios is releasing original maze game in European region. If you did play the North American version, then you know that the platform can be done in 1-2 to two hours. I'm not yet sure about the price, but it will not be more than $5. Also I have received two codes for giveaway and here is the first one. The other code will be done on Twitter. East Asia Soft has new game this week and the name is Redress of Mira. Game comes out on 8 February as a cross by in 4 to 8 tags. The price of this game is going to be $10. I would say it will take us around 4 to 5 hours to plot on this game, but we will see it yet. Next game on the very same day is new game called Falling Block from Webnetic. The game releases in Europe and America only, not as a cross by with 4 new stacks. I expect the price to stay the same, which is lower and a half, and it to be easy under 5 minute platinum trophy. Chili Dog is also back this week, and their first game this year, if I am correct, is called Looking for Aliens. This should be shorter game around 20 minutes to platinum it. If I am correct, the game should release in all 4 regions for the price of $5 or more. From Qbyte we are getting a new puzzle game called Alice in Wonderland. It really depends with them and time to platinum changes with each game, but I would say around 1-2 to two hours is the platinum time. The price should be around $5 and the game should come only in one stack. From Ratalaika this week we are getting a game called Go Go Pogo Girl. With a very nice and sound name, the game also looks very very lovely. The achievements are already up and I expect the game to be around 1-2 to two hours to get the platinum trophy. The price of the game is only $5, it comes out this Friday and it comes in 4 new stacks as a cross buy. On 11th November we are getting Guess the Animal from Webnetic which again should be a very easy platinum trophy up to 5 minutes. The game for now comes out in Europe and North America, not as a cross buy, in 4 new stacks. This week we are also getting Quiz This Spain Bronze Edition from Thai Games. Another release in 4 regions and another easy 1 minute platinum trophy. Finally the biggest release of this week is Hogwarts Legacy. This is the week all of us Potterheads have been expecting all along. My expectations are that the game will be longer, around 20 to 25 hours for the story only, but platinum time can depend on the way you play the game. In general if you like Harry Potter world, you could easily be diving into 100 hours of gameplay without worrying about platinum too much. Latest informations have confirmed that there are at least 120 quests to finish in this game. Enjoy yourself and take your time. That is it for this week guys and it is another great one with lots of great games. Which games are you going to play? Thank you once again for watching, stay tuned for more on my channel, like and subscribe would help me a lot and see you next time.